All right, so first we have to examine what is going on in our current classroom. Right now, the standard for a classroom is 25 to 30 desks, individual that all sit in rows and face the front of the classroom. Now this model is very traditional and very familiar to everyone. However, it does not reflect what is going on in the future of every classroom where students are getting their own devices and they are having to learn different techniques of learning. Teaching students cooperative learning helps them enhance their problem solving skills, their communication skills, and teaches them how to work in a team in order to learn. Because what we want to do in the future is we want to make learning a lifelong thing, not something that begins and ends in the classroom. So when we learn cooperatively, we learn how to learn all the time with each other, from each other. The flexible seating model is something that a lot of teachers are starting to adopt in their classroom where students are not in those rows that we talked about. What we want to do is we want to facilitate cooperative learning strategies by giving students options about how they sit together, where they work. So the student who likes to stand can stand, the student who likes to sit can sit, and they can be comfortable and relaxed in their own learning environment. One of the things that I would really love as an elective teacher is to do a lot more cross-curriculum integration. A lot of students always ask, how is this useful to me? Where am I going with this? Why do I need to learn this? When we, when we integrate the electives into the core classes and start working together to build our lessons, then a student can see how mathematics applies to his or her music. A student can see how geometry applies to their shot composition in photography or video production class. They can see how chemistry works when they're doing their cosmetology lessons. So they need to understand that every subject ties into another subject and when we as teachers can collaborate um, in a cross-curricular manner, then we can make um, learning that much more real for the students. My school and all the other high schools in my district have gone one-to-one. -one. And basically what that means is every high school student is equipped with their own laptop, with their own login and access to the applications that we use for learning. Now the one-to-one -one model is something that is a huge undertaking. It requires two technical people on campus and um, extensive training for the teachers. And we also have to understand that giving a student a laptop isn't a magic bullet. It is not going to solve anything. The student who is bad at math is bad at math with a laptop. But what we have to do as teachers is we have to completely change the way we teach because now that we don't have to go through some of the tedious processes of passing out notes or having students copy off the board we have to find different ways for students to interact with the information that they're getting with one-to-one -one, some of the concerns that teachers have is that students can cheat or they can um, become distracted with things on the internet. And that is very true, but we have to remember they were distracting themselves with other things. So we have to nail those distractions in the nub to make sure that students are constantly engaged and use that technology to dig deeper into our lessons and allow students hands-on experiences that they can simulate either through their laptop, through their devices or uh, in person. I teach a creative subject, so I am always judging a student's performance by how creative they can be. And one thing that I've noticed, and I always tell my students, is that the people who work for other people can do very well in their lives, but the people who are innovators, the people who create things, those are the ones who go on to change the world. And if we truly, truly want to equip our students to be entrepreneurial, to be um, self-sufficient, then we have to teach them how to be creative whenever they are going out into the universe.